Hello everyone, this is Emily from Fun in Springfield. This episode is about the Bartram's Covered Bridge. The history on covered bridges. Why cover the bridges? Today, covered bridges are considered historical landmarks, romantic structures resembling the past. But what was the purpose of covering these bridges? There were thought to be many reasons why the bridges were covered, although not all of these ideas were correct. There is a short answer. Wooden bridges with exposed superstructures are vulnerable, vulnerable to rot. Covering and roofing the, them protects them from weather, and so they last longer. The following are more explanations of the covering of bridges. The spans were built to resemble barns, so farm animals would feel more at home and not stampede as they were driven across the streams and rivers. Another explanation were to keep snow off the bridge, to keep the oil, oiled planks of the roadbed from becoming dangerously slippery in the rain, to cover up unsightly trusses and to provide shelter. Two travelers caught in a storm and to go to provide a place to court your lady and secretly give her a kiss. The name Kissing Bridges originated. One real reason for covering bridges was to protect the trusses from the weather because the environment caused bridges to fail sooner. Bridge engineers pointed out that a house timber truss Span has a life expectancy at least three times greater than one unhoused. Another positive reason why bridges were covered was that the roof strength on the entire structure. The design covered bridges were, are usually identified and classified by their trust construction. The trust determines how long a span it can have in complex it is to build. Simpler designs crossing small streams, for example, could often be constructed by local residents and may not have required the use of experienced bridge builders. Multi-span bridges have supported supports embedded within the stream, allowing a particular truss design to be used over long reach Reaches. This type design is basically like putting multiple bridges end to end. The first known covered bridge in America was designed by the Massachusetts millwright Timothy Palmer. It crossed the Schuylkill River at Philadelphia with a length of 550 feet. Interestingly enough, the bridge was not originally intended to be covered, but a suggestion from Judge Richard Peters, whose estate bordered the river at the bridge, was to handsomely roof, side, and paint the structure. The idea was well received, and so the painted and covered timber bridge became a common site of American roads from Maine to Florida to Oregon. These bridges were constructed in the half of the 20th century for carriage and later auto use. After the Civil War came in the age of iron, came the age of iron. At once, covered bridges were thought to be old fashioned. Gradually and sadly, they were replaced, even though most were perfectly sound. The Burt Trust system incorporated great reinforced arches that tied directly into the bridge, abutments with a series triangular support posts. Hello everyone, this is Emily from Fun in Springfield, or near Springfield. Today's episode is about the Batrams Covered Bridge, which is located in Newton Square. The bridge was built in 1860 by Ferdinand Wood using the bird truss design for supporting arches. Its dimensions are 60 feet long, 18 feet wide, 
13 feet high. The Batchum family was instrumental in having the bridge built. Restored in 1966, Batchum Bridge is the last covered bridge remaining in Delaware County. Built in 1860 by Ferdinand Wood, who designed the portrayals to be in high and wide as a load of hay. The bridge had an original cost of $1,133, which was shared by Delaware and Chester counties. It is named for Mortisee Batram, an adjacent landowner. The bridge design pioneered by Theodore Burr features the Burr Truss, commonly found in Pennsylvania covered bridges of the time. At one time, the words Lincoln Save Union and Congress were still visibly painted inside the bridge. The last traces of this old graffiti from 1860 are believed to have been lost during the last restoration of the bridge in 1955. The simple covered bridge was built in 1860 and is one of the few covered bridges left in Chester County and is the only one planned to be preserved. It is a covered burr arch truss bridge over Crum Creek on Ghoston Road. Located in Delaware County, Pennsylvania, in Chester County, Pennsylvania. It is intact but close to all traffic. It was recognized on the National Register of Historic Places. So, that's the bridge. Thank you.